the project that I'm going to do here and it's a border dish and this is kind of a little sketch of an idea that I was thinking of it's basically a, a dome and it has a flat dish on the base a dome with a button on the top and the button I'm going to use on the top had a bit of an off coat of black uh, black wood it's African black wood and that is a piece left from a clock that I made a few years ago and the pieces that I'm going to use for they this would be a bowl that I carved out of the inside of another bowl there's no date on that one they would have been probably 2011 or 12 there's a cord piece you can see how much out of shape that is no date on that. See, I just take the center out of the piece and just throw them out there to dry. So, I'll we'll make the base out of that and the dome out of that. And there's still a good bit of wood to be taken out of that and make it make the two of them back into shape. That'll be like that on top. And this will go on top, basically. So, the whole thing from wood that would have been out of the reclaimed firewood straight from the tree that had been dried that would have been uh, actually 2011 that wood has been drying since so it's out there drying on the shelf in my drying room and I brought it in here uh, probably three weeks let it settle down in here it's a bit warmer in here in this room so I'll just throw it on the lathe here and uh, take you through the process as usual and we'll see it's just basically a bit of bowl torn and a little bit of spit, spindle torn. I'm going to try and do this little button here off center. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> okay. The first thing I'm going to do here is I have a bowl blank on the just all over the choke here. The tail stock up against it. And what I'm going to do is trim up this bowl blank, put a tenant on the end of it here, and just roughly finish it off and uh, finish off it down to the tenant with finishing cuts and sand it. Then I will reverse it, put it in the chuck and hollow out the inside of it completely and finish the inside of it. And that's as far as I'll take this ball blank as it is for now. And then I'll show you how I'm going to finish off removing the tenant on the next stage of it, okay? Okay now, that's this ball ready for sanding up now on this side. I'm going to put it in the chuck, turn it around and take the inside out of it. That's the shape that I'm after, it's a nice round dome shape. Okay, basically <coughs> moving along now, I gave that a quick sanding, tenons on the end and it's ready to do the inside. Now you can see how much this is off, okay, and that's how thin this bowl is going to end up, because that's the that's the rim there now. That's all I need anyway, I, I only need that amount, and it's fairly heavy in the bottom here, so I'll be taking a lot of that out. Okay, and that's the dome that I'm going to want, just a little dome shape. So I'll just put it in the chuck here, tighten it up. 
Let's put a bit of pressure in the centre, press it in, well and tighten it down. There's a little tighten there. Bring it around. Let's check it again there. Not too much because too much can actually squeeze them. Squeeze the spigot and twist it off balance. Just let the two rest up against and check it. You'll get a bit of wobble. That's natural. You won't get it hundred percent. Okay, time to work the inside. The way to work this is bit at a time, small bit in, small bit, small bit, small bit. Because it's a tin bowl, don't go in there and take the load out. Okay, that's the Just moving it in nice and slow, just take it nice and easy, take, take that small bit at a time and then I'll move in again, take it in, do about an inch at a time, finish that inch, move in an inch because this is, this bowl is only, there you go, there's the, how thin it is, about 5 mil. there you go, real thin, real fine shavings. Take it nice and slow. Okay, that's it to there now. Now the same thing again, that's stage two. Take the bottom over nice and gently and finish the bottom right across. Take Okay, that's it, ready for sanding, okay? So sand that up and take it on to the next stage. Okay, that's it, sand it up there now to the inside and I just put some food safe oil on the inside of it. And I'll take that off the chuck now and I'll move on to the next stage. And I'll show you what, how I'm going to finish the outside of that off. Just put that aside for now and let it dry. Here we have the base of the dish here and it's just a piece of beach and it's warped out of shape because it was just, this is just basically a piece that was taken cored out of the centre of a bowl a number of years ago and left to dry. So what I'm going to do first here is trew this up and put a, a spigot or a tenant in the centre of it here so I can grab it in, in the chuck and this is only going to be a temporary spigot so I can turn it around and actually work on the base of it, okay? I'm going to take it off here now and reverse it onto the other side. Just going to put it on the into the chuck and work on it and make do the base. I have it in the chuck again. What I'm going to do is trew this up into a, an even shape and flatten off the base of it here, make a nice base and put a recess so I can put me chuck in an expansion mode and 
grab it again, turn the piece around and grab it with the chuck and then finish off the other side. Okay, so that's what's going to happen with this. So I'll do a bit of work on this, get it into shape and then make up the recess and probably do a bit of detail, decorate the recess. Sorry there, um, my battery twist went there. All I did was uh, twist, put a bit of detail in the recess and it's time to us to give that a bit of a sanding and I'm going to put a bit of um, oil on that. And Okay, that's the base done. Finished, bit of finishes on it. And I'm going to twist, put it on the chuck here. In expansion mode. And finish off this side here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is see this little rebate that I have here. Use that as a jam choke to jam the bowl up against and finish the base of the bowl off and then tidy up the inside of this up and that will be the, this finished and the base finished. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to flatten off the, bit, the face of this plate here first. Okay, that should do it. <coughs> now I'll just finish off the bottom with this. Just take a few cuts off it. Just use a spindle gouge and remove a bit. I'll leave the tail stock there for now just to keep a bit of pressure on it. I'm going to take the heavy bits off it. It. Just bored a little hole there to take the little button on the top of it. I'm going to sand it up and I'll take it on to the next stage. <laughs> Moving along. Just going to finish off the dish. I'm basically just going to clean up the edge here and uh, bottom out the dish here. Just make a little dish out of it basically. And I know this, I had this as a jam choke. So I'm going to just make that a little loose fit for the lid to fit over and the, the rim here I'm just going to leave it as it is and dish this in just slightly concave into the middle and that's the shape I'm going with. I'm not going to be going in like a bowl or anything, it's just going to be a little dish. Okay.
Okay, that's it there now, ready. That's it finished up now. I'm just going to give that a rubber sandpaper and I'll take you on to the next stage of the, making the little button for the top. Now, my SIM card was gone and I didn't realise that it was gone and I missed the film of the beginning of this. I didn't actually use the black piece of wood that I had to make the, the button for the top. Now, what I did was I just uh, turned this piece here and it's just basically off off center but it's torn between centers okay so it's, it's just basically a piece that's being moved from between centers to one side a halfway so it was a piece of round dowel uh, say which was a piece of beach there's the square piece there and I turned it into a cylinder and I basically stepped it back halfway off center and I turned it and it was made this little piece here. See the way when you move to one side you're left with half a half a piece and I'm halfway through it now. And it was leaving a little shaft there. I'm gonna part it off there that'll go into the top of the the dome and I'm gonna leave the top of it flat and I'm gonna finish that with up with the skew. And I didn't realise it was gone. And that's just the other end that's waste. So it's just a little small piece. I did I decided not to not use the black piece of wood because I think it'd look odd sitting on top of that all with it all being beach like just putting black wood sitting on top of it. So I'm just using the just finish it off here, okay? Now give that a little bit of sand and then put some finish on it. Okay. Yeah, I've just cut that off there now and I'll sand that up by hand and put it on the top here now and I'll show you the finished piece, okay? There you have it, there's the finished piece, there's the base, there's the dish, I kept it very high so the lid will fit up on top and I just done the little offset button and I just stuck it in there with a bit of CA glue, uh, as I say I didn't do it in black, I do it, decided to go with the same colour, I thought it would look a bit odd and there's the inside nice and uniform all the way through and I finished it with a finish of liquid paraffin okay and it just fits on top of it there nice you just lift it off butter in there or anything you can have it as any kind of a serving dish you can put a lid on it okay and you seen what kind of water was beforehand it was just a bowl and it was actually wood, if you looked at it in the first place, it was just warped out of shape and it just dried out for three years or so, it was left on the shelf and there you go, safe from the fire. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for watching and click the like button there if you like it and please subscribe for more videos. See you all next time.